It's check-in time at Encores. The 1989 musical Grand Hotel officially returns to the New York stage at City Center from March 21st through March 25th. We recently caught up with stars James Snyder, Brandon Uranowitz, Helena York, and more to learn about this production of the Robert Wright and George Forrest musical. Sweet nectar. Sherry. Campari. Scotch whiskey. Chartreuse. Who a cognac. An absinthe. Frappé. For one more moment in a world gone cold and crash, we'll take a glass together. We are at the most expensive hotel in Europe, in Berlin, in the 1920s. There are six or seven characters from different walks that are all at very intense points in their life where they can either rise or plummet. So we get a wonderful peek at, at what happens when all of these opulent rich people really just are about to lose everything and are on the precipice of the world changing. For me to take on Grand Hotel, it means the world to me. It was the first Broadway show I ever got to see and so to, to get to do Grand Hotel now after uh, getting to grow up in this industry a bit now, and then now put, out, put forward my own take on it with my complete love for the original has been thrilling. The stirring production intertwines the lives of a cast of eccentric characters through a series of fateful encounters as they whirl through the doors of the opulent Grand Hotel. I play Baron Felix Amadeus Benvenuto von Geigen, um, a charming Baron and a thief. I play Flemshin, who arrives at the Grand Hotel as a typist, for General Director Prizing, and she has dreams of Hollywood and of a better life. The part of uh, Elisabetta Grushinska, it's, she's a um, ballerina who's uh, in the age of the uh, collapse in her career uh, because uh, she had the failure in her previous city, Amsterdam, on her tour, and then uh, she wanted to escape the city and, of course, go to the fantastic Grand Hotel. My character specifically is just has just found out that he's going to die very soon and after living a sort of uneventful, unassuming life, has decided that he's going to cash everything in, come to the Grand Hotel and see what it means to live like the 1%, I guess. I play Rafaela, and she is the attendant to uh, the ballerina Grushinskaya. She has a secret that she has kept for a very, very, very long time. My character, he uh, owns through his wife's father a cotton mill that is going under and trying to get a merger with Boston. He's in a, he's in a pickle. The casting company told us that the interlocking storylines and sweeping score are what make Grand Hotel such a beloved musical. What I love about all the characters is that all of us are in this situation in our lives, but we every single character has such a great big want and is going through something, um, a, a, a large transition in their lives, so to speak. The spectacular quality of it is it's actually an epic evening done very simply and I've always loved that this is this is melodrama this is everything is important time is running out and every and love is huge everything's grand at the Grand Hotel it's the day. 